all the allergies. Oh, yeah. But anyways, beautiful Rex. Love it. I'm torn right now. I'm still going to get the new car, I think. More content for the channel. Guys, we are back today. I just ended yesterday's video. So go watch yesterday's video if you're not up to date. New car comes in sometime this week or next. Doing a car review in a couple days. Besides that, Black and Prez is the only thing I got for content. Maybe some Azetto, but we are going to do some time lapses at the Outback today. I did update you guys last video, but let's do it again. Let's do this right. Let's not half-ass it. So here it is. Got the intake in the back seat. Wiring harness somewhere in there. About to, already went through with my breaker bar. Breaker bar. Check the exhaust. I had to set that down because the ground is nasty. But checked all the exhaust bolts. I'm about to switch to my smaller 14 check those those motor mount bolts i'm going to check the trans bolts the starter bolts once i get all that done i'm going to run the wiring harness throw the intake on with new gaskets re-bend that coolant temp sensor prong because that always gets bent and then put on the front accessories and hopefully first fire up tonight i'm kind of nervous first well this isn't the first timing but this is going to be the first successful timing hopefully if it doesn't i got parts to fix it but the goal is hopefully this is the first successful timing job because I've never done one on a Subaru yet. But I did it book by book, pulley by pulley, tooth by tooth. So the only thing I think could be off is maybe the smallest tooth, but that's it. But everything lined up perfectly even after two rotations. So we're just going to send it at this point. I got a lot of bad memories because with my... Old Subaru, I was used to Ford timing, didn't read the booklet because there was arrows, so I was like, oh, just line up the arrows with the arrows. Subaru's completely different, I learned, so I got a lot of PTSD kind of from that, and also from my first Subaru got what we believe is rod knock, even though I thought it was timing belt tension, and we never got to figure it out. So, uh, I don't know. I never got that motor to run again, even though the valve just kissed at crank spinning rotation which is i believe 900 rp i don't know i'm not gonna go around saying facts i don't know but yeah look at the beautiful rex real quick sorry guys this is my daily sorry i had some mucus in my throat from all the allergies oh yeah but anyways beautiful rex love it i'm torn right now i'm still gonna get the new car i think more content for the channel but like I said, almost done. First timing belt job on a Subaru, hopefully successful. And yeah, nothing to it then to do it. I'm going to set up some time lapses and hopefully you guys enjoy the content. I'll keep coming back in for updates. The weather is all pushed off for today. We should be clear skies and let's get that nice Colorado sunset. Let's get this.
stuff but we seem to run into a little snag so i just like checking my surroundings but we did run into a little snag with the uh, i'm trying to think 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 with the fuel injector on the one side i had a hard time getting it off and now it's having a hard time going back on i just can't seem to get the clip the one bite and then two when i go to try to put the bolts in to maybe make it seat in the rail it doesn't, but I'll, I'll show you guys. But this is the only thing snagging me up right now. So I may have to go home, do some research, come back tomorrow. Which sucks. It, it really does. But as you guys see, that clip seated fine. Here's that side. The injector should be the same length. Or maybe not. It does look like one injector is longer than the other. So I'm going to go try some things. And I'll come back to you guys. Sorry, guys, sorry. I'm just dirty, tired. Took out both injectors, same size, so I'm most likely gonna have to do research about this. This is injector clips, the way this rail's going in. It's just, I'll show it on video, but see this one? Not a lot of tension, it's fine. This one's got unknown amount of tension in it. And it could be all because that rubber line, but you guys can see, I have to really put some pressure to get that to line up, and I don't like that. So that's most likely. I'm just gonna. There we go. I did something. But yeah, I'm most likely going to do research about that. It's currently 7:30. In an hour, I torqued everything down and got the intake on, which. Doesn't seem right, but I've never, sorry, I just, outdoors kind of scares me sometimes, if I'm being honest, but we have to mess with those injector clips more because they're kicking my ass. I've never had injectors with a clip because like this car, for example, it's the same as that motor sitting on the ground. You just kind of fuel rail on and it's more of like a pressure push pin fitting, but with something like this, I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm not gonna force it down. So I'm gonna probably do some research, but it sucks that I wasn't able to get as far as I wanted to get. I mean, I may hook up some coolant lines and, sorry if my hand's in the way, this arm just got tired, but I'm gonna hook up some coolant lines, I think, and then maybe wrap it up. So I'll probably do that and then get back with you guys and end the video, because it is, a beautiful Colorado sunset right now so might just go home enjoy the night do some content do some video editing 
and just call it a night on this. I mean, sorry, I'm just gonna sit in the car and record this part. But this is taking way longer, actually. Let's sit you guys up here. Maybe you guys can get a good angle of me. Sorry, I had to set you down. My arm is getting tired, but. I don't know. I might hook up cool lines. I might just call it a night. Got a lot of work done today. I think. I mean, definitely underquoted the hours on this job for sure. And like I said, this this older EJ25, I believe it's a 25. Because I know that other one's a 253, I want to say. This is possibly a 251, but I'm not sure. I looked it up at the beginning of the project. I remember there being an EJ... Yeah, it has to be an EJ253 or a 251. Most likely the 251, but those injector clips are just getting me. But what's crazy is, is there shouldn't be that much tension on the line. So if you guys have anything... Drop it down in the comments below. I'm just kind of sitting here brainstorming some ideas about... Sorry, there's a piece of fuzz that won't escape my car now. There we go. But I'm going to brainstorm for a bit. Maybe go and get some service and come back. But, man, this injector line is killing me. I wish there was an easier way to do this, but... Like I said, this is my first 251 is what I'm going to call it. So, injector clips are new to me. The whole fuel rail, just, I don't think it should have that much tension. So, I might backtrack a couple steps, see what I did before. You know, watch some YouTube videos on how to replace the injectors and seeing what people are doing. Because I can get the clips on no problem. It's just the amount of tension on there. I'm trying to get those two bolts down at the bottom. So, then maybe it can hold the tension of the line. And then I can easily slip the clips on. But... It's a learning progress, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. If it was something like this or my focus where it's just an easy no-clip situation not, and the tension works towards me, yeah, but this tension is for whatever reason like wants to pop the fuel line off, not keep it on. So most likely I have to do research, which sucks, but it is what it is, guys. can't change what it is, but yeah, I'll come back to you guys if I what I decide to do because... Yeah, but most likely I'm going to try to hook up some of those lines, but yeah, guys, ooh, I got, got some, ooh, yeah, got some grease right there, I don't know, it may have flipped the camera, who knows, yeah, I flipped the camera, yeah, but got some grease right there, so I'm going to try to be careful about what I touch in here, because it is a pretty car, I love the white needles, uh, but yeah, guys, and just chilling on my Rex. I don't know if I showed you guys this yet, but the car just the other day hit 160K, which I am very proud of this car. Drive it 500 miles a week. The new one won't be driven that much, but hey, thanks to IA, IA Tuning. Sorry, guys, my camera angles are really bad right now. I'm trying to figure this all out still, but thanks to IA Tuning for the tune. It's been a great tune. Wish we could get my wastegate to work better because I was having some issues with that. I do got a wastegate at home for, I believe, 21 or 23 or 26 PSI, somewhere in the 20s. Try not to push too much power, but yeah, and then I'll show you guys kind of my little setup here at the numbers. So that's my fuel trip. Like I said, drive so many miles a day. I just like the curiosity of seeing what I get. Really depends on how fast I'm going. The oil trip, which is this next weekend, is going to be ready for an oil change, which I do got the oil there. But the wreck so far is holding up pretty decent. I'm excited to show you guys the new purchase. It's, it's killing me not to tell you right now. It's killing me too because we'll be right around my birthday and I may have them put a bow on the hood and everything, but who knows. But yeah, guys, with that being said, I'd like to thank every one of you guys for tuning in so far. This has been... A huge learning process sorry I'm just trying to see what's going by because there's a lot of stuff going by today yeah guys but I'd like to thank you guys huge learning process and I'm probably gonna call it a night right here so if you guys have any comments questions or concerns drop them down to below and 
was kind of disappointed I didn't get as far as I wanted to get tonight and got a late start because I had to drive all the way across town to get fuel and but hopefully I don't have to deal with that tomorrow but yeah guys that being said thank you for watching and I guess we're gonna call it here so I can go home and do some research peace out guys keep doing what you love that's what I gotta say today is keep doing what you love like this car is beating me up I'm not gonna even lie to you guys this car is beating the shit out of me but I'm gonna keep working on it because I love this yeah guys that being said though thanks for watching just do what you love and like comment subscribe let me know how I did kind of a short video just a one time lapse this car keeps biting me every way but hopefully it's done soon it's getting there it's shaping up yeah guys i'll see you guys in the next video every time i have a problem my buddy comes down here and helps so i was about ready to call it a night i had everything packed up all of a sudden my buddy comes down he's like what you doing and i'm like the injectors man i <coughs> the injectors though i'm stuck on the injectors i think i should charge more money for this job you know i was getting defeated and then my buddy comes down here out of nowhere. You know, he fiddles with it for literally two minutes. Gets one bolt in, the other bolt in the rail. The rail finally wanted to play along. Just got the clips in myself. And yeah, so we're gonna go till the sun lights down, which I'm just gonna do little things like some coolant hoses and stuff until then. But injectors. I don't like how that clip seats. I may have to go pick up a new clip. Sorry, you guys can't see me. But I may want to go pick up a new clip or something because this injector still seems... I guess it seems fine as the others. I don't know. I'm going to probably mess with that injector some more because I just don't like how it moves. Especially with the clip in, because I'm pretty sure, I guess they all kind of move. So yeah, I'm just going to call that good. We're going to see if it leaks when it runs. Injectors are easy to place the whole rings on. Sorry guys, I'm out of breath, but I'm going to do everything, all the little shit off camera. There's no way to get the phone in there right now. Next one, I'll show you guys everything. This just has also some custom fittings and stuff for the coolant or heater hoses. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of work off camera, but like I said earlier, don't get defeated, guys. And yeah, just keep chasing everything you want. Don't give up. I was about to give up tonight, do some research, and then my buddy came down and helped. Sometimes it's okay to ask for help, guys, but that being said, even after that long rant, that being said, guys, I think it's gonna be the end of today's video. We got a lot of decent bit of work done today. Some more challenging stuff than others, but it is what it is at the end of the day but with that being said guys i'd like to tell you guys to please hit that like button <laughs> i'm working so hard at this channel hit the subscribe if you guys enjoy the content if not even frick tell me what i'm doing wrong in the comments section you know just just help me be better at this youtube thing because i want to show you guys and bring you guys along for the journey of a car guy and a mechanic and going from knowing absolutely nothing about cars to knowing a lot like just buying this rex in the last eight months i've learned so much about turbo cars so i want to bring you guys along for the journey and this windshield banner was definitely a learning experience everything with this car has been an absolute learning experience i don't want to run that over when i leave but yeah guys everything here has been a learning experience so i'd just like to thank every one of you that comes out i'll be showing more in the next car with that being said, guys, I'd like to thank every one of you guys for watching today. Remember, hit the like button, comment if you guys have any comments. Shit, hit the subscribe button. Uh, give me every kind of support you guys can. It's greatly appreciated. I know when I saw the most viewed video on the channel, which I do believe is the Lancer review, that made me smile. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to stop rambling and stop sharing about personal things that's for another video and another time which whenever we get the car i'm going to go into depth about a lot of this but be sure to like comment subscribe and i'm going to show you the cars and outro today so thank you guys thank you for all the support hope you guys can support me more but that being said 
hope everyone you have a great day i guess there's only one thing left to say i guess i will be seeing you guys in the next video this is being recorded monday but it won't come out until tuesday if my internet's working right because i did go to upload a video today sorry i was gonna turn around facing but i did go to upload a video today have some issues but yeah guys be sure to like comment and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out